Hi again, here we are to continue our talk of JavaScript and templates with JavaScript. Um, and in the last video, we you know introduced the whole project, we organized our files, and now we're ready to um, start working with the templates, or at least set them up, okay? Um, the templating system that I'm going to use for this example is called uh, Handlebars.js, okay? Let me spell it right here. Uh, Okay, so um, it says handlebars JS minimal templating on steroids, right? So this is the one that we want. It's got a big orange web page here. Okay, and this is a really pretty easy um, templating system to work with. Um, it seems pretty popular. You know, um, you know, there's a lot of other templates out there, I guess, and uh, you know, they're all probably just as good. This one I found was pretty easy to use, so um, so I'm going to stick with this. Okay. Um, how do you get started with this? You can read their 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 example here, and you can go through it. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Um, uh, maybe it isn't what you expected, so you might it might be seem a little confusing at first. But once you get the hang of it, it's it's pretty easy. Um, so uh, so how do you do it? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we need to install it, right? So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to download the latest version of Handlebars. Okay, uh, they may have a CDN that you can link to. Um, I'm just going to download it and put it in my folder. Okay, so I'll download it, and here it is, and I'll show it in the Finder. And uh, here is the folder where I'm working. You know, I've got cart and data and you know jQuery and main, right? So I'm just going to grab Handlebars and drag it into the folder here. Okay. So there we go. So there's Handlebars JS. So now, um, now that we've got it in our folder, we'll need to import it into our project. Okay. So let's do that. So let's go here and uh, go to index.html. And remember, main JS has to come last. So when we import um, Handlebars, we're going to want to import it before main JS. So it has to come up. It has to be imported somewhere up here. Um, I'm going to put it here right below jQuery. So, you know, kind of like my external libraries that I get from somewhere else, I'm going to import first. And then the files that I create, I'm going to import after. And then main.js will be last on the list. Okay. That way, it, I don't know, it's kind of organized for me. So I'll type in the script tag here and I'll say source. And then I'll say source equals handlebars, you know, um, version four, whatever, right? And there we go. So now we've got that. Um, now, you know, I'm, I'm, my folder here is still getting a little unorganized, right? Like I got a lot of JS files now. So, you know, what might be a good idea for us is to make a folder and call it uh, JS, right? And we'll put all of our JavaScript in here. So I'll take main and I'll drop it in there and I'll take jQuery and put it in there. And then I'll get handlebars, data, and cart. Okay, so now I go to the JS folder and I have everything here. Now, um, so that's a lot more organized. And we could do the same thing with our style sheet, right? So why don't we do that? Let's make a CSS folder. How about that, right? And I'll put the CSS files in there. Okay, so now that's pretty organized. Now the thing is, um, now that I've done this, it screws up all of my paths. So my paths are not going to be correct, right? So, you know, because this is now in, you know, uh, JS folder, JS slash cart, right? So, so I'll need to fix those paths. And, um, you know, I'll just go in here and I'll just say JS slash, right? And then you can, like, uh, brackets is kind of helping me with the path name here to make sure that I got my path correct. Um, and I'll just type in JS slash and uh, JS slash and, uh, Get this last one here, right? So now these guys should be linking. And then I'll go up to the top here and find the link to my style sheet. Because remember, I moved that also into another folder. So I'll type in CSS slash, and then that should be CSS slash style CSS. And this will be, be the correct path now, OK? And you know what? When you make a change like that, it's probably a good idea to do a test. So we'll go back to our site here in the browser. And we'll refresh it. Oh, and then it says error, could not find jQuery 2.0, whatever, right? So there's some problem with this guy. Let's let's read. What does it say there? Um, yeah, something's wrong there. Let's go check. Let me just double check the path on that one, right? Um, actually, it looks like it's correct. Let me make sure I got the right folder here. Um, 
let's do show in Finder. So here's my file here. Oh, that looks pretty good. And then I got JS, jQuery. I, th I think it's correct, you know. Um, so yeah, I, th I think I'm okay. And then if, if you wanted to check too, you could, you know, we could just delete the name here because this was the one that seemed to have the problem, right? It was the jQuery one. So I'll just type in JS um, slash, and then I'll go to jQuery min. And I think that looks the same as it did before, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Maybe Actually, maybe it's not the JavaScript file. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's missing um, this flag.svg, right? So... Uh, we won't worry about that right now. That was just something that I was using for the um, for the hover. Like there was a little image that goes behind this thing. Um, so uh, you know, maybe I move that into the folder here, right? So it's just this thing that's missing. We we'll, we'll just ignore that for now. Anyway, so we've got our files here, and they're showing up, right? Um, and now what I want to do is I want to get the template set up, okay? So, you know, let's talk about how the template works, okay? We'll go look at the handlebar site for a minute, right? Let me zoom in on this so the text is a little bit bigger there, right? Okay, um, let me go back to their, to their main site. It says getting started, right? So essentially, you know, a handlebars template looks like this. So you'll have, um, you know, a block of HTML code, right? And within that HTML code, where you want to put the con content, the things that change. So remember, in our code, you know, I had these blocks th to show each of the products, and the only things that were different were like the name and the price and the image, right? So anytime you have an area where something changes, what you're going to do is you're going to put a variable name in that area and then wrap it in the handlebars. And the handlebars is this um, double, you know, curly bracket. Okay, so the double curly bracket following by the closing double curly bracket, and then you'll put a name in here. Okay, and so this is the template, but actually, you know, we have to store the template in a script tag. Okay, so the template's going to look like this. So really, this is the same thing that we saw up here, right? But then now it's only wrapped in a script tag down at the bottom. Okay, so the script tag hides it from the browser so the template actually doesn't get displayed, and it also gives us a way to access it through JavaScript to create copies of it, right? Um, so anyway, so here's our script tag, and you'll notice there's a couple features, okay? The script tag needs to have an ID so we can identify it, and then it's going to have a type, and the type's going to be set to text x handlebars template, okay? And that way we know what kind of thing it is, okay? Okay. Um, so anyway, so that's our that's our setup. Why don't we make a template now, okay? So here's what I want to do. I'm going to go through my page, and I, I need to make two templates here, okay? Let me look at the top here. And this is going to kind of break our site for a couple minutes until we get everything sorted out. But at the top here, I have this, this UL. It's a list. And then it's got a list item in it, and this is one product. So if you recall from the first video... Um, my products are, let me go inspect them here. Each one of these views is this list item right here that has an anchor, an image, a div, and another div in it, right? So this whole thing, each one of these list items is one product, okay? And so this is the thing that we want to create as a template so that we don't have to duplicate it X number of times on the page. We'll only have one of these on our page, and our, our script will duplicate it, okay? So it's this whole block here, this li tag, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to identify one of these, okay? So this guy is our candidate to become the template, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of the other ones. I know it seems crazy, right? But um, but they got to go. So we're going to get rid of all these guys, right? And actually, I'm realizing this div right here, like we should put this outside of the UL like that. There we go, right? And so this is going to be our template, okay? So I got one list item with an anchor, image, div, and div. So I'm going to get this, and you can make your own template. So it could be any block of HTML. This is what mine looks like. I'm going to cut that so it's on the clipboard right now. And then I'll just put a comment in here, okay? Product list, right? Just so we remember that this is where the product list is going to be. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to make our templates down here. So I've got that HTML on the clipboard, right? And what I want to do is I want to um, put it down here at the bottom. It's going to be above our JavaScript, but below all the HTML for the page. Why don't we make a uh, comment here, right? So I'll make a comment here, templates, and uh, templates like this, right? So that way we know where our templates are. Right, and then our JavaScript goes below it. So the templates have to come before the JavaScript, but they should go at the bottom of the page. Okay, so we're gonna put our template in here. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Um, let's paste that HTML that we had. Okay, so there's my template HTML. And what we wanna do is we want to wrap it in the script tag. Okay, so there's my script tag. The closing one is here, so I wanna take the closing tag and put it at the bottom like that, okay? So there's our, there's our script tag there, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the script tag an ID, okay? So I'm gonna call this ID product um, template, okay? And then we need to get the type here. It has to be type, um, and you know, just to make sure we get the type right here, I'm going to copy it from the handlebars site. So what we want to do is we want to make the type this. It's going to be text slash x handlebars template. Okay, so let's just copy that. And then we'll paste it here. Okay. And then it should look something like that, right? So we've got our script with an ID name and the type. And then we've got a list item inside here. And that's one of those products, okay? So right now, you know, if I was to, um, you know, refresh my page here and look at it, you know, all of the products are going to be gone, right? Okay, so don't worry about that. We're going to come back and they're going to show up once we make use of the template, okay? And you'll see uh, this is actually going to be a lot easier than you think it might be, right? Okay, okay, so before we do anything else, Let's um, let's modify our template, okay? So this guy probably doesn't need an ID. I'm going to get rid of that. And then this href right here needs to be um, like a, an ID that we can use to identify our product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it details, right, dash. And then what I want to do is I want to put the ID of the product right here. And remember, all of my products, if we look at data, Right? Like if I go to data.js, every product has an ID number, right? So for the first product, I want the href to be hashtag detail-1. And for the second product, I want it to be hashtag detail-2. And for the third product, it'll be detail-3. So now the, the property name here is ID. So what I'm going to do inside the template, let me go back to HTML here, index, is right here... I'm going to use the handlebars. So I'll say handlebars, you know, just do the double brackets, and then I'll put ID. So the ID is going to be printed here. Let's do that again. So the image right here, the source attribute, right, I'm going to delete that and then put in the handlebars, the double brackets again, right? And what I want is I want to put the image for one of the products here. And if I look at data again, um, I have an attribute here or a property name called image, right? And it has the value for the image in it, the, the URL for it. So what I'll do in, in, the, in the template is I'll type in image. That's the property name from our data, okay? Let's do it again, okay? Um, the name right here, this is the class name, so we're not going to change that, but the name of the product is this one, right? So I'll delete it. I'll put in the handlebars. And the name here is going to come from the data, and it's going to come from this property right here called name. So what we'll do in the handlebars is we'll type in name. Okay, let's do that one more time just to make sure that we get it right. So this is the price right here, so I'm going to delete that. The dollar sign I want to keep, so I'm going to leave that there, right? And what I want to do is look at data here, and you can see I've got a, a property called price, 
and it's called price. Like that's the key or the, you know, the property name, right? And so what we'll do is we'll put the handlebars here, the double brackets, and inside the double brackets, we'll type price, okay? Um, here's a little note. Don't put any spaces outside of the brackets, okay? Um, you know, like right here, we don't want to have a space, okay? Um, you know, if you put a space here, you'll have a space between the dollar sign and the price, which might work for you, but it might not, you know, depending on your situation, right? Like if I put a space there, I'll have a space inside the, the ID name, which would be a mistake, right? So so, um, so let's not have any spaces usually around the, uh, the, the, the handlebar brackets, okay? So anyway, so hopefully that'll get us started. It's not going to quite work yet. We got to do a couple more things. There's just one or two more things that we need to do, okay? But this is a pretty good start there, okay? And you can see now our, our code is getting getting a lot more, you know, concise, right? Um, if like, if I look at the top of the page, my whole product list is just this. And then the, uh, if we understand how the template works, then I just have one block of code right here that represents every product, you know, and if I want to make a change to it, I can just change it here and that will change all the products for any number of products on my page. And if I want to add another product, I can just actually just add a new item to the list here and then that, you know, in the end is going to just duplicate this template, okay? So anyway, so hopefully that gets you started on this, and I hope that that's helpful to you, and uh, thanks for watching.